Jason Crawford, and I am the head golf professional here at Woodstone Meadows Golf Course at Massanut Resort. Today we're going to be talking about challenging uneven lies, something you're sure to run into when playing golf here at Massanut. There are a few keys to playing this shot. First shot we're going to go over is a ball above your feet. You will want to select I have two clubs here. One is a nine iron and one is an eight iron. You're gonna to wanna to make your adjustments to hit this shot solidly in your setup. You don't wanna to have to alter your swing. I'm gonna select an eight iron for this shot. So the adjustments that I'm going to make are with the ball above my feet, it's gonna to wanna, to, as the ball moves up, going to make me want to swing around my body more. So something I want to do to combat that is I will stand up a little taller and I'm going to aim a little bit to the right. A ball above your feet is going to tend to fly to the left for a right-handed golfer. It's going to match the slope. So if the slope goes to the left, the flight will, of the ball will move to the left. So I'm gonna stand a little closer to it, stand a little taller. Something else is I'm gonna grip down on the golf club because now the club needs to be a little shorter. I'm gonna grip down on it. I might aim a little bit more to the right, maybe five yards more to the right. And I'm gonna move the ball maybe this far back in my stance. We don't want to try and swing for maximum distance here. This is all about solid contact. So if you would normally hit a nine iron from 150, I would suggest you go to an eight iron. Just go down a club one more than you would typically hit. Now I have this pointer with me and I'm going to show you why the ball goes left or right. So for a ball that's above my feet, I have this indicator. So if I'm aiming at the target, the more loft a golf club has, the more left it will point. The more the club is, has to move up if it gets more severe, the loft of the golf club tilts and the ball direction goes more left. So for these types of situations, you may need to aim a little bit more to the right. You may need to move the ball a little bit further back in your stance. But for this shot here, it's a minor adjustment. Stand a little closer to it, grip down on the golf club, aim a little to the right and make a smooth swing. Now we're gonna to go to a ball below your feet. So I have the same shot here. It's 150 yards as the other shot. Ball is in the back of your stance. I'm sorry, back of your stance. The flag is in the back of the green. Again, if you would normally hit a nine iron from a level lie at 150 yards, you're gonna to wanna to select an eight iron. Now, some students for a shot that is below our feet, and this isn't as severe as further up the hill, but they'll tend to bend over more to stay in balance. We don't necessarily want to do this. I want you to bend your knees a little more, try and keep your back a little bit more straight. So I'm going to bend my knees a little bit more, and I can't make the club longer, so that's why I wouldn't hit a nine iron. I'm going to go to a less lofted golf club being an 8 iron. I'm going to take my normal grip, bending my knees back straight. Again, this ball is going to fly like this ground is sloped, so it's going to fly to the uh, right. So I'm going to aim just a little bit to the left. Contact is king. We want to make real solid contact. We do not want to swing too hard.
And that is how we hit from uneven lies. Thanks for joining me today here at Woodstone Meadows Golf Course. I hope you got something out of the uh, un uneven, challenging lies. Please come out and join us here at Woodstone Meadows. It is a great way to social distance, get some exercise, and enjoy nature.